meteorologist Beth Finello. Temperatures today topped off at 82 here in Springfield. We tied the record of 82 set back in 1910. We broke the record down in West Plains. That's where temperatures topped off at 85. Their old record at 82 set back in 1956. Right now, lots of sunshine here in Springfield. Temperatures still very warm. It's 81 degrees on a south and west wind at about six miles per hour. I mean, check out these temperatures. 89 in Ava, 90 down in Harrison, 88 in Mountain Home, 81 up in Rolla. We're about 15 to 30 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday and we're running about 20 degrees above average for this time of year. We've got winds right now out of the southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour still seeing gusts at this hour to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. These will continue to die down through the rest of the overnight hours. Again, mostly sunny skies. We've got a couple of high clouds out there. Not much else going on. Off to the west, we do have a storm system that is brewing. That's what's bringing us these gusty southerly winds. This storm is going to send a piece of energy into the Ozarks tonight into tomorrow morning. I think generally after midnight is when this round is going to come in. Notice it's going to be mainly for our northern counties. Notice the yellow. That's that slight risk. That means we could see a couple of strong to severe storms. The main threat with this round is going to be damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and hail up to the size of golf balls. Our next storm threat is going to come tomorrow evening. Now with this one, all of the ingredients are going to be there. It's just if we can get these storms to redevelop, that's when we could see a severe threat. But notice most of the Ozarks not in that severe threat, most in that green marginal risk, which means one or two could be numerous, and that slight risk a little bit closer to Kansas City where they could see a couple more strong to severe storms. So hour by hour, Notice those showers and storms mainly up to our north and our northern counties after midnight. Notice temperatures only staying in the 60s, a very warm overnight hours, mostly cloudy skies. By tomorrow morning, I think we could see a couple of showers make their way towards Springfield, not looking at anything severe. We make it through the rest of the day. Temperatures topping off warm again in the upper 70s. A couple of rays of sunshine here and there. We make it through about dinner time, and that's when showers and storms start to fire up, especially south and east of the interstate. But any storms that fire up north of the interstate, that's where we have to keep an eye on some strong to severe storms. Those move out by Friday night, and then we're just looking at mostly cloudy skies for Saturday morning. So here's what you can expect. Storms fire up in central Missouri after midnight. Those threats are going to be golf ball size hail and damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Storms redevelop Friday afternoon. Again, if we can get those storms to redevelop, all modes of severe weather will be possible with that. That means an isolated brief tornado, large hail, damaging winds, and of course, heavy rainfall is a concern. With that, plus already saturated soils, flooding is also going to be a concern. After all of that, look what happens to our temperatures. We're dropping back into the 60s Sunday and Monday. Then we'll be back in the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. 61 overnight tonight. Storms arrive late. 78 tomorrow. Showers and storms during the afternoon. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds. We'll have early shower chances on Saturday with temperatures in the 70s. More sunshine on Sunday. It looks to be the better half of the day or of the weekend with temperatures in the 60s. And then we'll add a chance of showers again for the day on Tuesday. So kind of some ups and downs in the forecast there. Mm -hmm. And how about